What should you pay for a child's guitar, or any musical instrument? It should have been a simple enough request. My 10-year-old, after several years of piano and voice lessons, had asked for a guitar. But what to buy? I posed the question to my Facebook friends. Full size or smaller? Acoustic or electric? A couple of guys from the best campus band from my college days suggested the Baby Taylor, a three-quarter size, also known as Parlor Size, acoustic guitar made by the Elkagen California, company that the likes of Taylor Swift and Jason Mraz count on for instruments. A new one generally sells for around $329. But then I heard from my friend Craig Bromberg the father of 11-year-old guitar-playing twins and a serious musician himself. He let me have it for even considering buying a brand new guitar. I for one can't stand the idea of kids with fancy instruments before they have even taken a single lesson, he wrote. He had a point. I've devoted a decent chunk of my professional life of late to trying to talk parents who have more money than average out of overindulging their kids. When it comes to cars, a shiny used one is generally the best choice. As for fancy mobile phones, get a dumb phone with basic voice and text service or let them pay the difference between that and the roving internet access and shiny hardware they crave. But musical instruments, of all sorts, not just guitars, are tools for learning, and that makes them different from cars or phones. Many forms of athletic gear for older children, tennis rackets, low-cross sticks, gloves for baseball or softball, are similar. Even so, I realized that in considering my child's request for a guitar, I got caught up in all the usual aspirations we have for our children, as well as my own memories and regrets about my musical training. The lesson, we ought to put every object of child desire through its own wants versus needs test, one that inevitably ends with a question about how much is enough, is enough.